Good morning, Collective. Welcome to Intuitive Queen Tarot. I am back with your collective reading. I hope you are enjoying your morning, your day, and I hope you enjoyed the entire weekend. Okay, so let's get into today's message. Um, but first, um, I just want to let those of you who did submit the survey know I did get your survey, and I finally was able to email everybody back last night. I have been so busy. But check your email, check your email, check your email. Um, class starts on September 1st. Okay, guys? So I want to make sure we I lay eyes on you before class starts. I need to talk to you. Okay? So make sure you check your email. Okay? I'm excited, guys. So get ready. Get excited with me. Okay, guys? But um, I did get your forms. I did write you all back. Okay? So make sure you um, write me back so we can set up a meet and uh, get ready for class. All right? Um, all right. So let's get ready for this reading. All right? Let's see what we got here. Let's see what Spirit has for us today. Something tried to come out. Okay. Ooh, we got our three already. First, oh, and then we, I just want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck. Uh, we have the triumphant success again. Ace of Swords. Clarity is coming. This has been coming out for the last few days, guys. So some clarity is coming about something that you're going to need to know. Okay? All right. So clarity, clarity, clarity. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Okay? We have the Nine of Swords, which is suffering and silence in the Psychic Tarot. Okay, so somebody could be um, haunted, feeling haunted by the past at this time. We have some energy of feeling trapped in fear. This is the Eight of Swords. This is the Nine of Swords, guys. Okay, so we went from the Nine of Swords to the Eight of Swords. You know, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords energy here. Okay, somebody is feeling trapped in fear and they are... Um, feeling haunted by the past and then we have 14 uh which is patience in the psychic tarot and it actually is temperance okay temperance is all about balance okay so let's see why we have these here okay we you know i'll start with the eight we'll go in order eight of swords trapped in fear why do we have the trapped in fear here spirit why do we have trapped in fear Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, so we have Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this is all about equal give and take here. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. You know, this is when we, uh, this is after the Seven of Pentacles, working really, really hard and diligently. Eight of Pentacles is sitting back and wait, waiting for your manifestations to come in after you work so hard, okay? And then we have the Queen of Swords. Somebody could be in their Queen of Swords energy right now, setting healthy boundaries, okay, after being or filling up like these boundaries are necessary we know the queen of swords could be an air sign aquarius libra or gemini it does not have to be but is in this energy of for a good reason in the upright okay the queen of swords is very intuitive very discerning okay knows exactly how to read energy three two one on the clock okay and this this queen um is naturally in this energy because uh she he or she take what resonates for whatever whatever you are okay take what resonates you could be a male in your feminine energy okay we know how energy can fluctuate either way okay but if this person is in or you are in this energy you know it's for a good reason with it being the upright okay so you are feeling the need i'm i'm hearing you're needing, feeling the need to set boundaries okay somebody is crying over spilled milk here we have the five of cups and then we have this ten of swords energy where somebody is feeling mentally exhausted okay we know the ten is the final number okay so somebody is mentally exhausted in this ten of swords energy and we're about to find out what's going on here okay so we know this came out with the eight of swords okay and we also have the nine of swords today guys so now we're seeing the ten of swords okay so let's see what's going on here What do we have here? What's this okay, so someone's in this ten of swords energy because they're juggling. Okay, we have the two of pentacles here. Someone's finances may be um being disrupted at this time. This could be your energy, but well, let's let's keep going. Okay, so somebody's gonna be required to take a leap of faith. We have the fool at the bottom of the deck, four, four, four on the clock. Spirit, tell me a little bit more about the five of cups and the two swords, okay? Thank you. 
Okay, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so you may have somebody wanting to come in and express themselves to you. Okay, tell you how they feel. And then this could be concerning union. I'm sorry I pushed that down. I wish you would have saw it. But the, the fool was sticking out. And then we have um, the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. Sorry, my fingers are in the way. But this could be about you coming into union. And it might be requiring you to take a leap of faith. This could be your divine counterpart being in a ten of swords energy. Okay, because this has been coming up in the reading. Okay, they could be in this ten of swords energy because they're worried about and trying to figure out how they're going to come in and express themselves to you. Okay, and you may be guarded towards your divine feminine or masculine. Take what resonates because you are in this queen of swords energy at this time, setting boundaries. Okay, someone could have been juggling here in their finances or in their partnerships. Okay, but somebody is definitely crying over spilled milk here. Okay, and it feels like you're focused on your bag at this time with this eight of pentacles, waiting for your manifestations to come in. Spirit, what else is going on here? Okay, Spirit said that's it. Okay, it looks like, uh, okay, so someone is in this sense, sense oh, well, they're in a place of lack, okay? They're not happy at this time with this Four of Cups. This feels like somebody that, this is definitely somebody who has feelings for you. Spirit is not wanting to reveal them at this time, so we may find out later in the reading. 6.33 on the clock, but somebody is definitely wanting to express themselves to you, okay? You have, this is definitely somebody you have set boundaries with because you are in the Queen of Swords energy. This person is feeling it because they are in this five of cup energy and they're crying over spilled milk and they're in this ten of swords energy of feeling mentally exhausted you are focused on your bag at this time okay and then this person could have juggled you in the connection whoever is wanting to come in but we're going to continue going spirit said that's it for the eight of swords so let's go to the nine of swords guys there are the nine of swords here thank you Okay, the Nine of Swords is here because a Knight of Wands, okay, is 717 on the clock. A Knight of Wands in the reverse is haunted, feeling haunted by the past at this time. Okay, this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay, this person is coming up in the reverse, so they are definitely in low vibration, okay? So let's see why this person is uh, feeling haunted by the past, guys. What's going on here with this nine of swords? Okay. Okay. So, something is going to require you to take a leap of faith. Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginnings. Okay. Okay, and we're finding a sense of direction here. And we, as you can see, I just pushed it down again. Uh, I have to be careful with that. The Three of Cups is wanting to peek out union. Okay, so I feel like Spirit is trying to say somebody's divine masculine was in this Knight of Wands energy, non-committal, and they have released this energy. Okay, let's see where this is going, guys. Spirit, what else do you have here? Okay. You have a message coming from a Knight of Wands. Well, Excuse me, somebody that was in the Knight of Wands energy that has released the Knight of Wands energy. So you do know who this is. You do have a message that is coming. Okay, this is going to require you to take a leap of faith. But Spirit is saying it's going to lead to a passionate new beginning. So somebody, I initially thought somebody was in low vibration, but Spirit has just corrected me and said this person was in low vibration. They are no longer in low, vibra low vibration. They have released this non-committal energy. So whoever this is, if this is your divine masculine, they have released this energy. It sounds like they're wanting to come in um, into union. We did see the, the union card peek out twice so far in this reading. When this connection comes in, Spirit is saying you will have to take a leap of faith, okay? And you are in your Queen of Swords energy, so you may be guarding yourself towards this individual at this time, but Spirit is saying this will lead to a passionate new beginning. So let's go to the Temperance card here, guys. Let's see what's going on here. Something may be requiring balance. Okay, why is the temperance here? Okay. 
Ooh, so that's why the temperance is here because it's about a connection. It's about your connection, okay? With possibly with a soulmate, okay? We have the two of cups here that's supposed to bring balance, okay? That's why the temperance is here. It's all about balance and patience, okay? It's this connection is going to bring balance, okay? Two of cups. Somebody is possibly feeling left out in the cold. It feels like your divine counterpart, okay? You may have felt the need to walk away from them when they, when they were in this Knight of Wands energy. Okay, they are watching you. Page of Sword is coming out, but it's in the upright. They have good intentions. 10, 10, and 10, 11. They're trying to pass. I'm feeling like they're trying to figure out how to approach you because we did see the um, the Page of Cups here. So they want to express themselves to you, but they might be having a difficult time trying to figure out how they're going to do this because they want you to be receptive when they come in. They don't want you to push them away. So they're planning, they're watching, they're trying to figure out what they need to say. Okay. This is going to lead to a wish fulfillment. We do have the Nine of Cups here. This is going to emotionally fulfill you, okay? So do you have anything else here with this Two of Cups? And this Page of Swords, Temperance here. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to take that into account. This will lead to a partnership, guys. We do have the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. This is revolving around a king of cups. This could be a, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This could be your divine masculine's sign, okay? Doesn't have to be, but the, um, the king of cups is a giver. They are a lover, okay? And it looks like they're a fighter, too. They're going to fight for this connection. You're going to get... If there's any competition or they feel that somebody else is impeding on this connection or preventing them from coming into union, 11.33 on the clock, they will fight for you, okay? They're not going to back down very easily is what I'm hearing, okay? So, but the King of Cups, just to give you a little bit about them, they are a giver. They are a lover, okay? They are very, um, they love to be near the water. They ground their energy near the water. They are, they could be intuitive. They are highly connected to source. They like to give back to their community, 11.55 on the clock okay these are the people that end up being humanitarians they are very very connected to their community okay this is a very very kind person loving okay compassionate person okay they definitely want to come into union this is three of pentacles is all about partnership and collaborating they could even want to be joint business owners 12 13 on the clock spirit do you have anything else here Spirit said that's it. Yes, union. This is your soulmate. This is this could be your twin flame or your higher level soulmate. It is time to come into union. Okay, so it looks like your divine counterpart is needing to work through some fears right now. Okay, because we saw the eight, the nine, and the ten of swords in this reading. Okay, so it looks like they're at the end of it and they're they're clearing their energy because we did see all three. So I'll show you here. This is the Eight of Swords, okay? They went from being trapped in fear to feeling haunted by the past and now in this mental exhaustion, okay? So they have stressed themselves completely out about this connection, guys. So be kind when they do come towards you because they are worried about how you're going to receive them and they are coming in correct, okay? They are in their King of Cups energy and this is exactly where you want them to be, okay? Emotionally available, okay? Because if they were once in this Knight of Wands energy, they have made a major transformation, okay? So be open, okay? Spirit is saying you're gonna, this is gonna lead to a passionate new beginning, but it is gonna require you to take a leap of faith, okay, guys? Let me get some messages from Spirit here. And by the way, you are in your Queen of Swords energy, guys. So you're gonna need to let that guard down a little bit, okay? <laughs> so if you're over there like, mm -mm, okay, because this is where you with your little sword, okay, ready to slice and dice, you're gonna have to bring it down a little bit, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, okay, I know y'all been, some of y'all been sitting up there like, where is he? Where is she? But you got a sword in your hand. Put the sword down, okay, so they can come in. <laughs> Okay, we know everything is about energy. Your guides, your angels, and your ancestors are watching you. So if you're over there being like, mm, okay, while you're saying, where are you? Okay, that's why they're not coming. 14, 14 on the clock, okay? Okay, listen to nine, 963 hertz. You can find this on YouTube, okay? Um, it's just a frequency that's going to help you heal. And this is what Spirit wants you to focus on so you can make room for them to come in. Okay, because you're going to have to release this sword. 
Okay, so your divine masculine can come in, okay? Or whoever this is for you, divine feminine, your divine feminine could be in their masculine energy. Just take what resonates. We know how the energy can fluctuate. But if this is your reading, okay, which it is if you were guided to me, you need to go and do some healing, okay? So make sure you're healing today. Listen to the frequency. You don't have to sit down and wait. You can just plop some earbuds in and walk around while you're listening to the 963 hertz, okay? About 40 minutes is good. And you should be good to go. Listen to it for the next three days, though. Just listen to it all weekend, and you'll be good. Okay? 40 minutes each. All right. Bye.